Hello students. In this class, we are going to discuss graphical representation of data. Till now, we discussed how to arrange the data in tabular form. In this class, we are going to discuss how we can use graphs to represent the data. To represent the data, we have three methods. Number one, bar graphs. Number two, histogram. And number three, frequency polygon. So, in this class, we are going to discuss only bar graphs. Now, as the name defined itself, bar, it means in graph, if we draw the bars, then it is called as a bar graph. So, see, bar graph means the bars of uniform width are drawn with various heights. So, with various height, we can draw the bars. The height of the bar represents the frequency of the corresponding observation. So, bar, it means this type of bar we have to draw. This type of bars. Now, I have drawn here three bars. So, these three bars means it represents the bar graph. Now, this height. See, this height, this height, this height, all the three heights are different. So, this height is represent the frequency of the corresponding observation. Now, one more important thing we have to know whenever we draw the bar graph. That is, between consecutive bars, this is the one bar, this is the another bar, consecutive bar. So, between the consecutive bar, same space is left. It means this space and this space should be same. Let's try this with the help of two questions. So, I have taken the two questions from your exercise 14b. So, first question is, on a certain day, the temperature in the city was recorded as under. So here data is given. And data is given. What data is given? Time and temperature. So at 5 a.m. the temperature in a city is your 18 degree. At a.m. 22 degree. At 11 a.m. 24 degree. At 3 p.m. 20 degree. At 6 p.m. 18 degree. Now we have to represent this one with the help of bar graph. Now to draw the bar graph, we need a graph paper. Like this, graph paper. So, see, here I have taken the x-axis as your time axis. And the y-axis is taken as a temperature. Now, you have to divide these squares in uniformly. For time, I use the third square, third big square as a first time. That is your 5 a.m. Then after leaving the two square, again third square represents the 8 a.m. Similarly, leave the two squares, then write down the next time. Again, leave the two squares, then write the next time. Leave the two squares, write the next time. It means we have to leave the number of square same between two consecutive bars. Similarly, here temperature is 18, 22, 24, 20 and 18. So, I use the unit as a 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. Now, see here, here the small one, small square I have taken as a 1 unit. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Small, small square I have taken as a 1 unit for your y axis. So, this unit you can select 
yourself also it is not necessary that you have to take the same unit as i have taken because here i have used the two big square two big after two big square the third square as a time so you can leave the one big square then write down the time or you can leave the three big square then write down the time similarly three big square next time three big square next time so it is up to you now let's start for 5 am what is the temperature temperature is 18 so see this one is your 5 and the temperature here 15 16 17 18 so we'll use here so this one will be your okay i'll use this scale So this one will be my first batch. Next one will be eight a.m. Eight a.m. is your twenty-two. So if this is twenty, then twenty-one, twenty-two. Next eleven a.m. twenty-four. So. Twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Next for three pm it is twenty. So this line is your twenty. Next will be for six pm it is eighteen. So see, so this is your bar diagram which represent the temperature and time for question number one. So it is very easy to draw the bar diagrams. Only you have to remember in bar diagram between two consecutive bars, the space, the left space should be same. Now come to the next question. So in the second question, the following table shows the favorite sports two fifty students of a school represent the data by a bar graph. So again you have to draw the bar graph. So some sports are given: cricket, football, tennis, badminton, swimming. And the number of students like cricket is seventy two, football forty, tennis fifty, badminton twenty, and the swimming is your sixty. so again we have to use the graph paper so here x axis select the sports cricket football tennis badminton and swimming and along y axis take the number of students so here is for 72 40 50 20 60 so i have selected the unit as a 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 now first one will be cricket so here again i have used the third square represent the cricket leave the two square then the third square represent the football again leave the two big square write that another sports tennis then again leave the two big square then write the other sports now first cricket cricket is for 72 so this is 70 so count here it will 71 72 so here it will be 72 next football is your 40 so this is 40 so draw here one bar this is 40 next tennis is your 50 this one is 50 so draw this one as a 50 next badminton is your 20 so draw here 20 now swimming is your 60 so this point is your 60 so this is your 60 so in this way you have to draw the bar graph so with the help of this two question number 1 and 2 please do the uh, questions of exercise 14b means 
from your exercise 14b you have to do all the sums of slab 1 because in slab 1 you have to draw bar graphs thank you